the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore to him for four. And Jesus said unto him, This day the salvation come to this house. For as much as he also is a son of Abraham. For listen, for listen, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. My subject, don't leave me out. Taylor Chapel, today, we celebrate 83 years as a church. That's awesome. That, that's awesome. 83 years as a church. But when we look around the sanctuary and we can see some empty seats, to some of you that might that might appear that maybe we don't have a lot to celebrate. But if you have these thoughts, let me tell you now that you will be very, very wrong. Why? Why? For we are, are blessed that we get to worship in a place where people come here, love God. We get to worship here in a place that is paid for huh, and cannot be taken away from us. We worship in a place where we understand the hearts of those around us. Knowing, knowing first and foremost that we are not perfect. But yet we stand with one another in good times and bad. We get to worship in a place uh, where our young people uh, have an opportunity to participate in service. Uh, while, while our numbers may not be what we would like, uh, yet we get to worship in a place uh, where the word of God is taught and share with people some we will never meet. Uh, on last Sunday, on last Sunday, uh, I told you how Isaiah saw the condition of his community uh, and wanted to see a, a change. Uh, and he saw uh, God also wanted that change to take place as well. Uh, so Isaiah, Isaiah came to the conclusion he wanted in uh, on what God wanted to do. Uh, in other words, uh, he wanted to be included. Uh, so he asked the Lord, in essence, uh, don't do it uh, without me. Uh, send me and I will go. Uh, Taylor, there's a song by Bishop Paul Martin titled, Don't Do It. Uh, don't do it without me. Uh, in that song, it says, Lord, Lord, uh, whatever you're doing in this season, uh, please don't do it without me. Uh, if you're passing out healing, uh, don't, 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 don't do it. Uh, without me. Uh, if you're passing out blessings, uh, don't do it uh, without me. Uh, if you were feeling us uh, with the Holy Spirit, uh, don't leave uh, me out. Uh, whatever the Lord is doing right now, uh, in the middle of this pandemic, uh, we, we are asking the Lord, uh, that we have a desire to be in the midst uh, of whatever he is doing. Uh, we have a desire uh, to be a part of it. We want to be involved uh, regardless of what those around us may be doing. Uh, uh, we want to be with God. Uh, when uh, we do not, uh, when we do make that decision, uh, it's not the time to stop. Uh, 
Once that decision is made, uh, then the work starts. Uh, and this is what we must address uh, within our hearts. Let me ask you this question. Do our hearts really say, Lord, uh, don't leave me out? Uh, or is our heart saying, Lord, uh, let me check my schedule. And if I'm not busy, I'll get back with you. Uh, Heart uh, is not uh, about us. Uh, it's about a personal desire uh, to be a part of what the Lord is doing in this season. Uh, this church, this church, your church, uh, has been uh, around for 83 years. Uh, this church should have, and I believe they have, uh, reached out uh, within the community. And help someone to Christ. Uh, this church uh, didn't happen by accident. Uh, this church was planted here in this area, uh, in this neighborhood, uh, for the purpose uh, of shining for God. Uh, there, there, there are some people here, uh, I believe, who want to see God. Uh, as they say, we are when they leave. Uh, but, but in the scripture, uh, just let me back up. Do you remember Zacchaeus? Uh, oh, Zacchaeus, uh, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, uh, he was the chief tax collector. He was the head. Uh, uh, and meaning he was in charge of the tax office there in Jericho. Uh, and you got to understand that tax collectors are. Uh, were not held in high esteem uh, as they were seen uh, as traitors by the Jews for collecting tax for the Roman government. Uh, also, also, just because they could, they would often uh, defraud their fellow Jews uh, and they would collect more taxes uh, than was required by law and they would pocket the difference. Uh, this, but yet, this is the man who wanted to see Jesus. He was a sinner. Huh? He was someone who was rich, and yet he was poor spiritually. And no doubt about it, no doubt about it, he was on his way to hell. But when he heard that Jesus was passing through Jericho, he, like others in the crowd, came out to see him. Uh, but he could not see Jesus uh, because he was small in stature. Uh, in other words, Zacchaeus was a short man. Imagine for a moment, if you will, uh, a large crowd of people uh, surrounding Jesus. And this short man, uh, you see him, uh, he is within the crowd and He's close to Jesus, uh, but yet uh, he could still not see him. Uh, imagine, imagine him jumping uh, up and down, uh, trying to see over the heads uh, of the others in the crowd, and yet uh, he couldn't see him. Uh, no matter what he was doing, uh, 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 but, but, but uh, he was not going to see him in that crowd. Uh, uh, can you see this? Uh, uh, it's much like at the Mardi Gras. You know how it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Everybody looking for moon pies. Everybody jumping and screaming. Go me something. And the little short guy, he can't get it. Uh -huh. Because he's short. Uh -huh. But at this point, at this point, Zacchaeus, uh, Zacchaeus uh, he made a decision. He could do one or two things. He could go home huh? and not see Jesus. Huh? Or he could, he could just stay with the crowd and just say, I was there. I didn't get to see him. Huh? Huh? But I was in the crowd. Huh? Or he could do something totally uh, uh, beneath him, but totally undignified for a rich man. Huh? What would that be? He could run down the street huh? ahead of Jesus. Uh, and climb a tree uh, 
And he could see Jesus uh, as a Jesus passed by. Uh, then, then, then he could say at least a uh, song. Uh, I didn't get to speak to him, but at least I saw him. Uh, and he chose the man. Uh, because he wanted to see Jesus. Uh, that was all he wanted to do that day. Uh, he said, I wanted to see Jesus. Uh, he did not want to be left out of sin. Uh, on such and such a day, I saw Jesus. Uh, let me ask the question. Uh, is this church this morning? Uh, is it like the crowd? Uh, what you mean? Or this church, are you preventing sinners uh, from seeing Jesus? Uh, by the way you carry on. Huh? Huh? Is this church a, a light uh, shining in the neighborhood? Huh? Are there folks here huh? like the crowd making so much noise, huh? raising so much hell huh? that it's preventing others who want to see Jesus huh? for himself? Huh? Maybe, some, maybe someone in the area huh? just want to come in. Huh? It's hot outside. The only reason they came in the door, guess what? Not to hear the preacher, huh? but that the air conditioning is on. So they're going to ease in the back door and just sit down the you know. Huh? Oh, but Zacchaeus, huh? did be unthinkable for a rich man of those times. Huh? I believe the same thing today. You don't find too many rich men climbing trees. Huh? He ran ahead of the crowd. So then he could get in front of Jesus. Uh, then he climbed a tree. Uh, so that his view of Jesus would be unobstructed. Uh, you must see this. You must see this. See this in your spiritual life. Uh, his motivation. Uh, his motivation uh, to see Jesus uh, was so strong uh, that he refused to give up. Uh, he refused uh, to give in. Uh, he refused to quit. Uh, he refused to allow the crowd uh, to keep him uh, from his goal. Uh, what was his goal? To see Jesus. Uh, so this rich man, he found a sycamore tree and he climbed. Uh, after climbing the tree, uh, getting comfortable in the tree, uh, he waited. Uh, he waited for Jesus to pass. Uh, uh, but the story does not end with him just seeing Jesus. Uh, imagine, imagine the shock uh, when Jesus uh, came to the place. Uh, he looks up uh, and he calls him by name. Uh, and he can't have heard him come down. Uh, for today I must stay at your house. Uh, I never met the man. Don't know anything about the man. But I heard about him. I don't want to see him. But the man is telling me that uh, call my name and telling me he wants to spend uh, the day with me. Uh, 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 and, and the Bible says he heard it and came down and received Jesus gladly. Uh, and when they saw it, uh, well, who, who, who is they? Uh, 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 who is they? Uh, 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 could, I, uh, uh, could I say us church folks? Uh, 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 they begin to grumble, uh, uh, saying, "What? Uh, he's going to be the guest of a man uh, who's a sinner?" Uh, uh, but just that quick, just that quick, look what happened. Zachary stopped. And said to the Lord before they even got home. Uh, he said, Oh Lord, uh, half of my possessions, uh, I'm, I'm going to give to the poor. Uh, and if I have defrauded anyone, he already knew he had it. Uh, 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 but if I have what? Defrauded uh, anyone. Uh, behold, I will give back to him four times as much. If I, well, what is he saying? Well, if I stole a quarter from him, I'm going to give you a dollar back. Uh, that's a pretty good investment, right? Uh, and because of that, uh, and Jesus said to him, 
not yesterday, but today. Right. Salvation has come up to this house because he too, just like you, just like you, God, God healed a son of Abraham. Right. For, for, for you got it messed up, you that's grumbling, you that's fussing up. For the son of man has come to seek God. And to say, not those that were saved, you know, but those that was what? Lost. Uh, Jesus told him to hurry and come down uh, because he was planning to stay at his house. Uh, some of the people complained. Uh, you see, I can maybe understand it to some extent. Why, why were they complaining? Uh, everybody there in Jericho knew who he was. Uh, they knew how he had treated them. Uh, everyone knew how he had raised their taxes. Uh, everyone knew how he had stolen from them. Uh, but what they didn't understand was that Jesus knew it also. Uh, uh, so you think you think you think you think you getting away with it. Uh, but Jesus knows what you're doing. Uh, uh, as soon as Zacchaeus was in the presence of Jesus. Uh, he immediately confessed. Uh, he told Jesus uh, that he will give half of what he had uh, to the poor. Uh, and he was going to restore that which he had taken. Uh, he was saying his family was saved. Uh, how, how, how did this happen to him? It happened because Zacchaeus Left out. Uh, 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 whatever Jesus was doing on that day, uh, uh, Zacchaeus wanted to be involved in it. Uh, he did not want Jesus to do it uh, without him. Uh, to that end, when, when, when he could not see Jesus, uh, instead of turning around and going home, uh, he climbed the tree. Uh, instead of just following the crowd, uh, being a part. He ran ahead of the crowd uh, and climbed the tree. Uh, instead of looking at his dignified self, uh, uh, his life, I'm a rich man. That's what right, I don't do. He climbed a tree. Uh, he was so holy. Uh, he became undignified uh, uh, and climbed a tree. Uh, climbing a tree saved this man's life. Uh, and the life of his whole family. Uh, and through his salvation, guess what he did? Uh, he enriched those uh, from whom he had stolen. Uh, how so, Pastor? How so? Uh, the people benefited uh, from his conversion because now he's saved. Uh, he still got the same job, uh, but he would stop stealing from that day forward. Uh, uh, and they would have some more money, wouldn't they? Uh, he climbed a tree impacted not only his life, uh, but the lives of his family and the lives of his community. Uh, Taylor, oh Taylor, uh, if we could church, uh, if we would just encourage someone, uh, someone in the neighborhood, uh, someone in the village, uh, if we would just encourage someone, uh, perhaps crime uh, uh, in your neighborhood might go down, huh? It would go down as a result of that drug dealer that's stealing on the corner. Guess what? Huh? Have met Jesus. Uh, maybe, maybe killing would go down, huh? For they met Jesus and they dropped uh, that gun, uh, and their life was changed. Uh, tell, tell. We celebrate eighty-three years. Uh, we have seen some victories. Uh, we have seen the move of God huh, right here in these walls. Huh? Oh, 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 yes. We have come a mighty long way. Huh? But God uh, is not through with us yet. Huh? Yes, uh, we have experienced some troubled times. Huh? Yes, uh, we have lost members through the years for various reasons. Yes, we have experienced dry spells uh, 
when it seems like we had to fight uh, just to make ends meet. Uh, sometimes we had to move uh, from the dignified uh, and become undignified. Uh, uh, it seems, uh, uh, what I'm saying, it's time for us uh, to climb some trees. Uh -huh. Do you want to be a part of what God is doing today? Uh, it's time to move from the dignified uh, to the undignified. It's time to climb some trees. Uh -huh. Do you want to be a part of what God's doing today? Uh, if you are scared to step out, uh, let me encourage you. Climb a tree. Uh, uh, if you want to serve in the church, but you don't feel qualified, do what? Uh, uh, climb that tree. Uh, uh, if you've been praying and praying, uh, get up off your knees and climb, uh, climb that tree. Uh, uh, if you're tired, uh, use the last of your strength uh, to climb uh, that tree. Uh, if you're ready to give up and give in on what God has anointed you to do, I need you to climb, uh, climb that tree. Uh, a man, a man uh, was reading. His newspaper early one morning at the breakfast table. Uh, his wife came over to him, uh, gave him a hug, uh, smiled, and said, Honey, uh, I bet you don't know what today is, so I do. Uh, he looked at her and said, Of course I know what today is. So uh, went back to reading his newspaper. Uh, Brother Tim, he didn't have a clue. Uh, uh, he thought to himself later, uh, it's a birthday, huh? That must be it, huh? So after he got to work, he called the florist uh, and had a bouquet of white roses sent to his wife. Uh, then as the day went on, uh, he began to worry uh, that flowers uh, may not be enough uh, for such an important day. Uh, what if it's not her birthday, uh, but our anniversary? Uh, so he went to the jewelry store down from his office, uh, picked out a beautiful gold necklace, uh, and had it specially delivered to his wife. Uh, and as his day came to an end, uh, as he started home from work, uh, he decided that maybe uh, he should also stop uh, and buy an expensive box of chocolates uh, to bring to her. Just in case, uh, he pulls uh, Taylor into the driveway. Uh, his wife uh, runs out to greet him. Uh, as he gets out the car, uh, he presents her with the box of chocolates. Uh, she folds her arms around him uh, and says, Oh, honey, this is the best groundhog day I ever had. Uh, What am I saying? Uh, this is not Groundhog's Day. Uh, this is a very special day. Uh, this Taylor Chapel CME is the anniversary. Uh, and we're celebrating uh, how God has kept us. Uh, so you need to evaluate yourself. Uh, 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 as we look back uh, over these 83 years, uh, we can only say to God, to him uh, be the glory. Uh, great things uh, he has done. Uh, but as we look at all that, God has accomplished. Uh, we have to recognize uh, we, like Paul, we have not yet arrived. Uh, we have been so blessed as a church uh, in the last 83 years. Uh, but we still have a long way to go. Uh, but you need to preach your well. God is not done with us yet. He still wants us to grow numerically and spiritually. And so in order to do that, each of us here should make every effort to add to your faith. What you're going to add, goodness, knowledge, and the knowledge, self-control. You need some perseverance. Uh, you need to persevere. Uh, you need some godliness. Uh, you need some mutual affection. Uh, you need some mutual love. Uh, for the Bible says you possess uh, these qualities uh, in increasing measures. Uh, they will keep you uh, 
and unproductive uh, in your knowledge of our Lord. Uh, your being said, uh, effective ministry. Uh, so you don't want to disappoint me. Uh, uh, no matter uh, how good or bad uh, life has been, uh, God uh, still has uh, greater things ahead for us uh, in the future. Uh, we must be open. To continue to grow in God. Taylor, take pride in how long this church has been in existence. And you have been blessed to be here. No matter how long you've been here, some you've been here for two years.